everybody, it's Tracy here with Sparrow Rose Soap and Herbs and I've got some jewel weed I gathered today and I'm just giving it a little bath just like I would salad. I wanted to go through and clean off any dirt that's on there. I also wanted to carefully make sure there were no other plants in there. And I also wanted to look out for anything that might be either seeds or bugs that are on the leaves because I don't want anything like that to end up in any of my products. So. I'm gonna give these a rinse and let them dry, and then I'm gonna make a few different things out of them. This is the jewel weed, I processed it. I went through and I cleaned it. I washed it just like I would for a salad. And I have the thicker pieces that were from the node to the root, cut up into small pieces here. If you can see, they're hollow in the middle. Then I took the leaves, and they're over here. I washed those, and here are the pieces that the leaves were on, and I washed those and I cut them up finely. Some of these I'm gonna be making into an infusion that's similar to like a tea, and that I will be using to make some soap. Some of it I'm gonna be making an extraction in some witch hazel. You don't want to use alcohol for that per se, for um, some safety concerns regarding interactions. And some of this is going to be going into a uh, infused oil that I will be making with grapeseed because it's got some astringent properties. So then I will use that infused oil along with some plantain oil and a few other things to make a cell. So I'm going to macerate the leaves up a little bit, get the tea going, get the extraction going, and get the infused oil going. The liquid starts to become like an orangish brown color, and the jewelweed starts to lose its color. So I'm going to let this simmer for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, then I'll turn it off, let it cool, and then strain it and then put it in the freezer. You can refrigerate it. Um, I wouldn't leave it in the fridge for more than say 24 hours. You can freeze it and it'll last for anywhere from six months to a year. Okay, I've had the jewel weed going here for I'd say five to 10 minutes. And you can see that the distilled water is taking on kind of an orangish brown color and the jewelweed itself is starting to lose its color. I'm gonna let this go a little longer. Then I'll let it cool, strain, and freeze the liquid. Okay, this is the jewelweed I harvested yesterday that I infused in some distilled water for soap making. This is definitely not for consumption. You make it similar to the way that you would make a tea. I, I clean the jewelweed and I put it in the pot, then I fill the pot with distilled water and I put it on the stove. Make sure not to use aluminum because for soap making you don't want anything to be in contact with aluminum. I brought it to a boil and then turned it down and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. The water will take on this kind of orangey color and the jewelweed will start to lose its color. Now, because fresh jewelweed has a, a very short shelf life, I'm gonna make this into ice cubes that I can freeze. Make sure to label it so that people in your family will know that this is not a consumable item. So I'm gonna put this in these silicone trays and I'm gonna freeze it and then I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them in like a heavy duty freezer bags and I'm gonna label them that it's just like I would anything else. Jewelweed and distilled water and the date that it was made, it's for soap making. That way no one in my family gets any ideas that this is like a popsicle type thing. And I could use this to replace all or part of the water in my soaps and then I'll have a nice jewelweed soap. They'll be good for at least six months to a year, if not longer. So it kind of gets a little more time out of the short season for jewelweed. Okay, I've got some fresh jewelweed and some witch hazel here. 
kind of put this through a blender and then I'm going to stick this in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours and then I'm going to strain it real well and then I'll bottle it and this can be used for an itch spray. Uh, word of caution, um, be careful with this. Make sure you don't have an allergic reaction to it before using it. It's been almost 24 hours now so I'm going to strain it real well to remove the plant material and then I'm going to put it in this bottle and then I'm going to label it topical use only and to refrigerate because you this isn't for internal use with the witch hazel in it. Um, there have been some warnings about using alcohol even topically like rubbing alcohol or even vodka or things of that nature. Um, there have been some serious reactions to that. This just looks a little weird mostly because I put it through a blender. So I'm going to put some cheesecloth over this. I'm going to pour it in here slowly and hope it doesn't overflow. I'll probably have to strain this twice. I'll do it the first time through some cheesecloth and then I'll do it through a coffee filter. This would be used mostly as like a poultice. Um, this is definitely not for internal use. Pour some more of the liquid down. Here you can see where the oil has separated from the plant material in the water. The oil is going to float on top and the water and the plant material is going to go to the bottom. You can see how it forms little bubbles like that. 